and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube who's watching this video later on over there for some infinite bolus. That's right, we are going to try to go infinite and make as many nickel bolus dragon gods as we can. So how it works to uh, do that is we need a, uh, first we need an Oath of Teferi on the battlefield that allows us to activate our loyalty abilities or our planeswalkers twice. And then we also need a Jace Cunning Castaway on the battlefield. So we just need both of those on the battlefield. Because Jace's minus five ability says create two tokens that are copies of Jace, except they're not legendary. Well, Nicol Bolas starts with four loyalty, but if you can use Nicol Bolas' abilities twice, you can first tick up uh, to, to put Nicol Bolas to five. And then if you can use it again, then you could do the minus five and then turn your one Nicol Bolas into two copies of Nicol Bolas. And then each one can tick up and go to five and then make two copies. Um, so then you have four and you can just kind of do that until until your opponent's just out of permanence, basically. You just draw enough cards, make your opponents out of permanence, and then you can start using them to, to minus two and make illusions. And so you can just make a bunch of illusions with your new Nicol Bolas copies and everything. So that's that's our goal of our deck to get Oath of Teferi and Jace Cunning Castaway in play. As you can tell, I only have two Oath of Teferis here, though, because it's not a very good card on its own. You know, on its own, it's five mana and doesn't do anything unless you have other Planeswalkers. So uh, we have 18 Planeswalkers. We're basically, basically what I'm going here with is a blue-black control deck <clears throat> um, that is just has this, this combo that can just work. You know, like, we have this combo finished, but we're just going to be trying to be a regular blue-black control deck. Uh, splashing white for the three Teferi cards and splashing red for just Nicol Bolas. Everything else is blue-black in the whole deck. Um, I have the four Interplanar Beacons to help us out here. We got some red sources down here as well. Um, and then, yeah, we're just going to be like a Planeswalker control deck that hopefully gets to combo off here. We even have... I have a copy of Elder Spell as well in the main deck uh, with a couple more in the sideboard because of how important Planeswalkers are these days. But if we have one of these five mana planeswalkers like a teferi or a nickel bolus in play and then elder spell away some other planeswalkers including some of our own with these three drops we can maybe ultimate uh before our opponents expect it um i have ashiox in here for phoenix and for dread horde <clears throat> i figured command the dread horde would be a tough card for me to beat so i'm going to try ashiox and particularly the thing that i just want to try is I wonder if we if we have like Ashiok, I'm, I'm probably going to bring this in against Control also, where if we have like Ashiok plus then like Nicobolus also doing Ashiok's ability and like maybe Oath of Teferi where we can do those twice a turn. Like I wonder if we can just mill people out. I wonder if we can like turbo mill people out with <laughs> just like, all right, like exile four card, you know, mill four, mill four, mill four, and just do that a bunch. <laughs> That could be kind of crazy, but we'll we'll give it a try. So, yeah, let's go ahead and give this a try. Infinite Bolus. I guess we need our avatar to be Bolus. I have a few openings for our Infinite Bolus deck. It's possible our mana won't work. It's possible our deck won't work. But maybe it'll all work. Yeah. That's our... In Alternate win con, mill them out. All right, we'll see how many boluses we can get against Joe. Oh, we got two parts of our combo. We need to draw Red Source and Nickel Bolus Dragon God. All right, where's Naya Party Bus? All right, five card hand over there. Yeah, who's gonna bother killing Jace? It's the perfect plan. I know, right?
Yeah, we're just playing against Joe here. Growth Spiral. Our opponent's just growth spiraling out of control. Four color deck. Are they your well, we've drawn like the worst two cards we could draw with Swamp and Watery Grave because they're not red sources and they're just extra lands we don't need and but not red source. It was just like the worst that we could have. Uh, same here, Eisenhower. I just hope we get to combo off one game, you know? This league. Just hopefully one game we get to do it. That's all I want. Just one time. <laughs> Our opponent's really reading Jace. Well, our three draw steps have been the worst possible now so far. Let's try this. This is not four color dread horde. It's definitely some kind of control deck. You're a zero. How you play the hand you're dealt. <laughs> Smoke and mirrors. So we need to draw a red source plus Nicol Bola still. So haven't gotten any closer to our goal. Discovery will help us out though. <laughs> this Jace goes in sexy tribal. <laughs> you get shirtless Jace, Chandra, a Liliana, and a Ral. That's the start of sexy tribal. <laughs> All right. They're going to go grab any card in their deck. They chose their deck, not their sideboard. I think we uh, decisions, decisions, decisions. double loot first. It's a matter of give and take. We can still hit it. We can still hit Red Source Bolas this turn if we get lucky. I don't feel like cast down is going to do very much for us this game from what our opponents played. But who knows? Maybe they have Hydro Crisis or something. Let's get rid of the swamp. Well, what'd they go get? Lich's Mastery. Interesting. There's the Dragon God. Now we just need red mana. Now we just need red mana. Let's slow this down. 
shows nothing. Oh right, I can't cast instant speed stuff. I couldn't cast down my own creature in response to keep them from drawing a card. Oh, I would have won instantly with dispersal. That is true. Oh yeah, that is true. Ah, where's red mana? We're so close to winning. Uh. This should distract you. Let's think this through. They're just a red mana source away from winning the game. Here we go. I can't... How many cards do they have in their library? Or over here, five? I think it's five. Oh yeah, I can just click on that. This will come in handy. Yeah, we can't... We couldn't attack last turn because the creature doesn't have haste. There's eight red sources in here. I guess maybe we need to get more than eight. There is always an answer. I don't have that much white, but we've drawn a whole lot of white sources, so it, it seems like we have a lot of white in here. But I honestly don't have that many. Ugh. I know my responsibility. Get out of here, Ascanta. You need to slow down. Keep up the pace. <laughs> We're getting closer. So how many cards did we see that turn? Uh, four? So we saw four cards there that turn. We're getting closer to a red source. Whoa. There's chance for glorying it up? I'll protect you. Did they Oh no. Mind and body should move in unison, like wind and wave. They're just dead. Let's try this. Yeah, I've seen twenty two cards. I Didn't see one of our eight red horses. Oh wow, they hit it? But they don't have the mana to cast it. They're just So Duress, Elder Spell, Ashiok, Contempt, Taking Out, Cast Down, Scorns, and Ritual of Soots. And I'll take out this Liliana. And this is 61. I guess I'll take out another Contempt. I got three Elder Spells, that's probably enough. Yeah, opponent didn't actually see our combo. We have four Interplanar Beacons and four Blue-Red Lands. They are off the screen during sideboarding because it just takes up so much. Okay. Well, we got all of our colors. <laughs> I 
<laughs> yeah. Our opponent just thinks we're playing Weird Esper. Which is basically what we're doing. It's basically our deck is Weird Esper. We don't really need early plays against our opponent, I don't think. Hey, look at that. Early plays. Don't deception is key. Uh, I should have played the Ashok. They were going to draw land. Decisions, decisions, decisions. All right, we need to find Oath of Teferi. a bane fire i wonder so they can't they cannot search their library but mastermind's acquisition so Ma they have mastermind's acquisition so they can't search their library anymore but they could still search i guess they can still search their uh sideboard Do I just like mill them again with this nickel bolus? So do I go turbo mill? Hmm. Well, I guess I have to get rid of this four four. I think I'm just gonna contempt this instead of. This will come in handy. Yeah, I think I want to just contempt this, keep my nickel bulls at a higher loyalty. All right, so yeah, they're going to acquisition <clears throat> their sideboard. Spyglass, tilt. That's too bad. My Nickel Bowl's Dragon God. I may have to Elder Spell my Dragon God to put more counters on my Ashiok to continue to mill them. If they Spyglass the Dragon God here. Oh, they Spyglassed Ashiok. Well then. Yeah, they're really worried about that minus. Is this a better play than just taking up Nicol really Bolas? No, probably not. But it's more fun. There we go. Yeah, no, opponent can't can't handle the minus. We're gonna mill him out. Can't handle getting milled out. Alternate win con. <laughs> mm. 
but yeah, no, we could so we could elder spell our own planeswalker. Yeah, the next turn we could still elder spell our own planeswalkers, and go for Bolas Ultimate. I guess no, since I minus, I wasn't gonna be able to. But whatever. Our combo is having Jace and Otha Teferi in play when we play a Nicol Bolas. Get there, we will go ultimate. No, they they could not mastermind for cards in their deck because Ashiok. Ashiok says you can't search your library. So they had to mastermind for something in their graveyard. Or something in their sorry, in their sideboard. Oh, can they go look in their exile pile with Mastermind? Like if I mill over the card? Can you do that? Whoa, taking the Ugin. They can't, it's only just sideboard. Yeah. I'm known for my excellent timing. Don't worry, I got this. I can no longer stand by and watch. I've got time. All right, so it looks like regular old Esper control over here. Not cool Esper like ours. Lame Esper. Oh, I've done the hero thing before. Ah, uh, the Esper walkers. Well, I do have. Yeah, that's pretty great right having Nicobolus, or sorry, having Teferi already on like my turn three. It's a great Mox Amber there. They're trying to Thought Erasure me here, but I have a Teferi. But still, we're not looking good here. Trust me, I have a plan. No time for a break. So I'm glad I have three total Elder Spells. One in the main, two more on the board. Those are going to be important in this matchup for sure. No! I am not making this up as I go. Love to draw one. If you wish to surrender now, put thoughtfulness before action. Wow, lucky. Like, these are all the cards in our deck, but they're just doing it so much better than us right now. Perfect. We were about to die. Once again. We gotta kill this Teferi, because the Teferi was gonna kill us. For your cause. That's more like it. They still get to Elder Spell both of our planeswalkers away, which is not good, but at least we're not dead. Yeah, maybe I should have a Mox in my deck. I mean it it's only turned on for my three mana walkers. But that that Mox was pretty perfect there. Well, they, they definitely should tap their Mox for mana and then bounce their Mox and then replay it. Could have had a free mana there if, like, that's their plan is to minus. Like, if you're playing a Mox deck. This might be a bad idea. Really? They just didn't Elder Spell? What is going on?
They're just gonna want to. They just want to exile stuff. My schemes are never ending. All right. Well, thank you for not elder spelling. That's more like it. So unfortunately, I couldn't know the Teferi and Thought Erasure, but I really needed to take the elder spell. Oh, I've done the hero thing before. Yeah, we'll just have them exile stuff. Sure, we don't get to draw, but they have to exile things. Conceivable. I could now. I can minus two. Doesn't really matter. <laughs> Four lands. All right, yeah, get rid of those. Let's try this. This might be a bad idea. Maybe I'm I should have ticked up Bolas. Ugh. I can't draw extra cards. I have Stupid Narset. To to so this Teferi... Is these three-man Teferis aren't doing anything. I will return. <laughs> you have no weakness I cannot exploit. No, I am not making this up as I go. Don't worry. I got this. What happens if I would bounce the Oath of Teferi and then replay it? Yeah, I guess I guess that's the thing is just to kill the Narset like the next turn instead of minus twoing Bolas. I I should just shouldn't have minus two to begin with when we're at three because then the next turn I could tick up to four and then kill it. Well, that was all because my opponent didn't cast their Elder Spell. So that was really nice of them. So let's get all these in. So would I... Do I want to play... All right, well, we'll play an Ashiok over that cast down. Do I want to play the second Ashiok over anything? I mean, I kind of do want to play Ashiok's, but because Ashiok's fun, you know, milling the opponent is fun. I think these are all pretty important, though. So I guess I'm just going to play the one Ashiok. Yeah, it says twice, not an additional time, so it just says twice. So I don't, I don't think the bouncing it and replaying it would, would help. Hey, what's up, Horatio? Happy Thursday. <clears throat> no, we need lands. Our hand's so good. <laughs> That's why it's so good, because we didn't have lands. Uh, well, the problem with playing Bacon is Bacon doesn't help you cast your Thought Erasures.
Hooray! Oh wait, that's not a, another black source. Kinda need another black source. For Elder Spell and Contempt. But I also just need lands. Their hand is really good. Like their hand's pretty stacked here. But the thief the thief would just kill me, so gotta hope we can maybe grind out some of this other stuff. But yeah, their hand's definitely definitely stacked. That's why three mana Teferi is real important, getting rid of those negates and vetoes. Keep an open mind. Dang. That's a good one. Can play that and have counterspell up. This be a tough tough game to win from here. Black Source! Wow, we did it. We did it. That's like, like all these good two mana cards. Like these are all just really good. Oh, I can't even play this. That's annoying. Come on. I can't. I mean, they just have to... Really? I feel like you're just supposed to let that resolve. Thieves of Sanity with Counterspell backup. I have, like, no removal in my deck right now. I have, like, two Contempts. One I've already played. No Counter Magic. This is over. I, I don't really want to show my opponent my deck. So I'm picking it up here. It's a lot of Thief of Sanities. That's annoying. All right, Ashiok, you're out. What's my best Thief of Sanity removal spell that can do stuff against other things? I guess Tyrant Scorn. Is that better than Cast Down in Moment? I mean, Tyrant Scorn does cost blue also, or these only cost black. <laughs> Thanks, Mr. Previously.
We have the Teferi Time Ravelers, the Bounce Thief, and everything, too. I don't know what my other card I'm going to cut is out of this. I guess it's got to be one of these five mana cards. I guess. Or six. Take out an Ugin, I guess. Ugin's so good, though. Does cost six mana. I mean, it probably should be one of the Oath of Teferis, to be honest. Because they can just ignore that and, and answer other things, but... I'm not playing this Infinite Bolus deck to not play the Oath of Teferis. So I don't think we really need to... Like, I think our mana is okay. I don't think we need Chromatic Lantern in here. So I need to like not have this as Kanta uh, vetoed somehow. I don't really know how. Yeah, Beacon helps with our weird mana costs, for sure. Because we're just like a blue-black deck that's just splashing white and red, just barely. So yes, I could play one of these this turn and, and let them veto it. Uh, but I can just play them both next turn and kind of take up their mana completely. Yeah, they have a lot of counter magic. We did not have Baby Teferi, though. All right. We got Ascanta in there. Pass turn. That's fine. isn't a fight you can win. There goes nothing. Alright, so yeah, I'm going to activate Ascanta instead of just casting Duress here, and the next turn we'll have, like, whatever we grab off of Ascanta. Even though, like, minusing there isn't, like, ideal against a discard spell, I think it's still just worth it uh, in case of...
<clears throat> they did not even cast their thought erasure. Reckless it would have taken my duress. Anyway, I was saying I think it's worth it in case I'll protect you. <clears throat> they had a Planeswalker removal spell and killed the Teferi. Thought it was more likely they had that. <laughs> Where is your counter magic now, opponent? We got it! All right. Two and zero. Oh. We have an infinite bolus yet. We were going to the very first game, but our opponent conceded before we got the chance. But that's how we were going to win the very first game. Thanks, Lolly Yeager. Yeah, Jace won that game for us. <laughs> Jace taking that veto out of their hand so we could resolve Escanta. Oh yeah, we have we have a pretty solid deck even without the, the combo. Okay. Meow. Meow. But that's the goal, is just to combo our opponent one time. Right, Hawkeye? We just want to combo our opponent once. Can we do it? This is a good curve. Thought Erasure, then, then Teferi. Then Vras's Contempt. Then Nicol Bolas. So they have Rampage... All right, I'm going to take this Nickel Bolas because that's just like a, you know, that one's a two for one. Everything else is like a one for one. Like I'll play Time Raveler here. Draw a card. They rampage it away. Right on schedule. Here we go. <laughs> no. Trust me, I have a plan. Well, new to fairy. Trust me, you'll thank me later. I've got time. So I basically, want to draw another card because I really want to get to five mana, of course, for these other planeswalkers. Get to five mana. Yeah. All right, let's go Oath first. Right, so we can play these Planeswalkers and loyalty ability them twice. I guess they're still just going to Contempt. Uh, I guess I should play this. No. I have them Contempt this. All right, so they're going to play Ugin next turn. I kind of want to just play this card. Oath of Teferi. Like, they're not going to... No, I should play this. Yeah, this is the thing to do. Let's get rid of that as Kanta right now. It is possible if I play like anything else, they could like upkeep, cast a spell, and then as can't then flip as can't to, like it's possible. It's not very likely, but possible.
That was unfortunate. Existence. We can figure a way out of this. It's how you play the hand you're dealt. I came into being long before your kind ever existed. They're not minusing that, right? Yeah. I don't want my dragon god to die. How can I set this up? Dragon god's just gonna die and I'm gonna be sad. Just sacrifice Liliana? I can't be right. Alright, I guess they can kill the dragon god. I could do Oath. Let's just, let's just do Oath. Let's do it. Let's think this through. I'm not one to boast. Let's try this. We'll make this look easy. Just because it isn't real, doesn't mean it won't kill. Seeing is believing. Or is it? There is always an answer. All right, now we have we have two Jaces out here. I have just the trick for this. So we can we can have the win next turn. If our opponent like doesn't doesn't have any interaction for us instant speed. Oh no! No, not Bedevil. Dang it, tap out. Play something else. Play a cast down. And attack. <clears throat> Just tap out. But not with a thought erasure. Just bedevil one of these Jaces right now. Bedevil. 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 Your victory. Combo! Hawkeye, you ready for this? I will spare you. Alright, here we go. Change for eternal servitude. Oh no. Oh, that's awesome. So we don't have to worry about milling out either because the Narset. Witness a moat of my oh, come on. All right, so we make two copies. Oh. <laughs> Hawkeye, we went infinite. We went infinite, Hawkeye. Look how happy he is. Infinite boluses. Infinite bolus. <laughs> that was awesome. All right, so we get all of our normal things in here. Cast down, Tyrant Scorn, Ritual of Soot all come out. They are all dead cards. So let's just play this. We finally, we got to do it. 
We got to do the infinite bolus. I'm so happy. That's all I wanted to do today with playing this deck. Yeah, that was the Hawkeye luck. Hawkeye luck. As Kanta. <clears throat> yeah, whenever, yeah, whenever, so Jace's minus five says create two tokens that are copies of Jace Cunning Castaway, except they're not legendary. But whenever Bolas does that, it's really saying create two copies of Nickel Bolas Dragon God, except they're not legendary. So negate, negate, Ugin. I mean, I guess we're just taking a gate. So we got to find removal for Thief. I mean, inter Interplanar Beacon means we get to cast Bolas, but they'll have negate by that time. The Chapel means we could cast Contempt, but we'd have to find Contempt also. I think I keep the Chapel and look for Contempt. Yeah, I think it's I think it's smart to keep the chapel here. That also gets us on the way of casting Nicol Bolas as well. And then we have two looks with Azcanta looking for Contempt or um, or that. That was the other card. That was the other card that was Sorry, I'm gonna late. be naming. No, I am not making this up as I go. And of course, playing the black sources out so we can play Dragon God next turn. All right, have a good night, Storm. Don't worry, I got this. I am one again. Get out of here, Ravager. Perish. Do you want the Oath of Teferi or the regular Teferi? Oh no, they took the Oath of Teferi. Oh no. The Oath of Teferi is gone. <laughs> so yeah, we just play regular Teferi there, tuck the thief. Um, Nickel Bolas draw a card. They have to exile something. As you can see, I wasn't going to flip Ascanta there because we were already going to be using all of our mana. We didn't need to like flip the Ascanta like where we could use the Ascanta the next turn uh, again in the um, for the ability to check the library. No, I I actually think that I don't know. Oath of Teferi was going to mess them up there. It makes sense to take it. Honestly, I don't think they could they could beat Oath of Teferi. Because if they took the regular Teferi, we play Oath, we uh, have... We get the um, Teferi to tick up to three and then also bounce Thief. So we would have bounced Thief with the little Teferi, even though that would have killed little Teferi. But then we would have also ticked up regular Bolas twice. And so they would have had, we would have drawn two more cards and they would have had to exile two things. And I don't, I don't know if they come back from that, honestly. Especially if they don't have a removal spell for Bolas, because then we just get to do that the next turn also. Draw two more and make them exile two more. So yeah, they were dead.
We go first. We don't do anything till turn five, but that's that's what our draw steps are for, right? We'll draw Thought Erasure here. That sounds a good a good idea. Oh, this was not the matchup. <laughs> not the matchup to keep this kind of hand. We had played so many control decks in a row. That's all we had seen are control decks. I forgot that there are other decks that are not control decks. All right, well, we need to find Ritual of Soot. Time to Can you really trust your eyes? That was a good draw. Get a 2-2 two -two that gains a life. Not bad. Take it to ranked? Yeah. Well, yeah, we're going to have, like, the ranked thing is, like, st stopping tomorrow. So I haven't been playing very much ranked, keeping, like, the, the rank. Uh, I need to be in the top 1,000 by tomorrow. Um, I am, I'm just a tad bit out of top 1,000 right now. We're going to play the banned Arcbo list that's my favorite list right now. We're going to play that after this over there. All right, well, we're dead. I don't I guess I'll just pass. We'll just let them hit us, see what happens. Maybe they have all mountains in hand, and we draw ritual of it. Up to ten. I could use another interplanar beacon. That'd be a good draw. But I am death's master. No, don't have spells in hand. I can't beat spells. I will return. Well, I can't beat Frenzy at all. So I think I have to do this and try to draw a two-mana removal spell. We did not draw the two-mana removal spell. Ritual of Soot, you're our only hope. Or not. Maybe I don't want Alright, so we have Cries of the Carnarium, another Ritual of Soot, three Moment of Cravings, uh, Contempt. I got those eight to come on in here. Uh, Liliana, I guess I just have to get rid of Oath of Teferi, unfortunately. I guess it's not going to help us, is it? No. Yeah, I got to get rid of that. I'm keeping in the Ugins to kill... Do I need that to kill Frenzy? Yeah, I probably do. Elder Spell out. This is 64. Narset out. 62. This 
is just like a 2-2. I just have all these other sweepers. Okay, here we go. All right, cool, Yud. That sounds good. Wow. Look at all these cool cards that we can't cast. Look at all these cool cards that we can't cast. Well, we need to play Ritual Set. That's my only hope right now. There's a, these are some unfortunate hands here. Okay. Um. You okay, Annie? So Skewer was like one mana deal three, where this is like, you know, two mana deal three. The other one can do more than three, but costs a whole lot more mana. Not letting them like Skewer here also. I hope they use the Bane Fire to kill Teferi. That'd be nice. No! Gosh, we have Shino Pyromancer. That was so efficient. So efficient. Pass the turn. Pass the turn. Be greedy. Come on, be greedy. Love it. Come on. Discard spell. Ugh. Why can't we just find a Thought Razor or a Duress there? They were so greedy. Huh. I knew you needed my help. What's that smell? Oh, it's you burning. Down it, down it. in my image. I Your existence is pointless. Yeah, we're dead to a lot of things. They draw a land, we die. Yeah, draw a three damage burn spell win, like a lightning strike. I could have I could have activated this and looked for discard for the bane fire. Then they still have the Chandra. I'm just I'm basically where I'm at right now is I'm killing that and I'm hoping they don't cast bane fire again. Love it. All right, come on, come on, give us that discard. Well. 
I can go discovery and really dig for the discard or go a little bit safer and just contempt this firebrand. Dang. No justice. All right, three and one. I guess I needed to discovery there. And just hope to hit this guard. Dang. Once we contempted the monkey, I actually kind of felt pretty good. But then they had five points of burn in hand still. GG's. Oh, that's close. All right, three and one. Really like this hand. I mean, I guess I could have taken that Bane Fire at the very beginning with the Thought Razor instead of the three damage burnt spell. Would have saved me some life, at the very least. Because we never found any other way to do, to get rid of that other Bane Fire or any way to pull ahead. So I think, I think that's what. I think I just ended up taking the wrong card. I took the best card for like that early in the game, but. That's what I should have done differently that game. Yeah, we're probably going to need that. That's a lot of lands over there. So, four color Dread Horde. Yeah, and the Jade Lights just just sets up their draw step so well. You've already lost. You just don't know it yet. It's a matter of give and take. We need to move quickly. All right, so the Jace is just going to die. That's just where we're at. That's okay. We need to find more cards, though. The Jace just, you know, uh, traded with the Branch Walker and saved us a couple life. That's all it, it did there. Did its job. No, my Ascanta. I'm good at what I do. I won't forgive this. I think you're crappy at what you do. Fortunately, I won't have to remember this. Hold that thought. Okay, okay. Oh, I could have just played that. 
I will play this thing now. I'm a deception is key. Alright. I think we got this now. So we should be able to should be able to just ultimate. Alive or alive. Oh yeah, get rid of the land. Love it. Alright, tick up. Let's try this. Holder spell. Yes and yes. Wait. I can just like actually win. Uh, I need to figure out how to tap. Okay. Give me black and blue. All right, that'll work. No, it won't work. Okay, sorry, this this auto tap thing with Elder Spell is tough. Give me black and black. I need to do different colors of mana. Oh my gosh. This is like impossible. Can I do that? have that do this? Okay, there you go. Now have this give me black and blue. Two black, two blue. That doesn't work. Does this? No, yeah, because that. All right, <clears throat> I need to. I need to hold full control. Black, blue for this. Black, blue. No, don't tap the fucking isolated chapel. Are you kidding me? Can you just play my spell? All right, here, you're going to be black. You're going to be black. You're going to be black. You're going to be black and red. Okay, so close. You're going to be... Are you kidding me? Just opponent's turn? I even had whole, full control on and everything. I'm just kidding. I can't. I couldn't like get this to play play this card with the the beacons, and have two mana for elder spell. Because like no matter like how it wanted to play this, because I have to play this first and have the two black, then I would have elder spelled, killed the planeswalkers, and then ultimate and nickel bullets in just one. But it wasn't it wasn't like letting me tap like that. An unfortunate casualty. I mean I can still do it as long as as long as I can figure it out this time. Just don't auto tap. I can still win here if I can just figure this out. Okay. Give me black and blue. It's still auto tapping. Give me black, 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 red. Give me black and red. Pay this red. Pay the red. All right. Now pay this. Just 
Just resolve, yes, resolve. The immortal Nicole Bolas will be your end. Alright, we did it this time. Woo. Okay, that was that was harder than it needed to be. All right, we can't change the gameplay in between here. All right. Okay, whatever. <laughs> we figured it out, though. All right, let's bring in up more Elder Spells and Ashiox and Ritual of Set. Uh, I'm going to take out... Um... Red Horde General as Kanta. I guess Narsets. Narsets really not bad here, though. I have to take out something. And I'm not taking out Jace with the Teferi and Nickel Bull's Dragon God. Let's take out one Uga and keep a Narset in. Whew. <laughs> yeah, tapping lands is the real skill in magic. <laughs> like, already has me on the clock? Are you kidding me? All right, go ahead and auto tap again. Already has me on the clock. I just started the game. How do I already get a rope? Whoa. Well, beating two Tamios is going to be tough. Got to hope that they don't draw land. Just please brick on land. No. No, that's tough. Every story really need them for them to brick. I follow the tracks of the wise. Nightmares of the path. Behold. Yeah, get rid of those cards. My victory was but a dream. Because we already had another Ashiok, and I was looking for something to deal with the Tamios. That's why I got I got rid of this Ashiok, because I was looking for something to deal with the Tamios. But maybe if I just keep the other Ashiok, we don't have to worry about the Tamios as much. Let me aid your research. Yeah, this is the infinite bolus deck, yep. So are they gonna play wild growth or are they gonna attack for two? Love it. Love it. And Elder Spell's good. That'll take out a Tamiyo and give this Ashiok some more loyalty to exile some more stuff from their graveyard or from their library. No! My Elder Spell I just drew. No, Ashiok doesn't really deal with Tamiyo, no. I mean, all Ashiok does is puts four cards from their 
library to their graveyard, then exile the graveyard. Ooh, interesting. Because they have the backup Tamiyo. What do you want, Narset? You don't have two blue mana. Guess they don't care. Yeah, get rid of that Elder Spell. I have learned little here. If I don't cast the Elder Spell, they can just use their Tamiyo to get back the Duress. Well, I mean, I guess I would exile that, but still. All right, so down to 27 cards in library. Tilt. Kills Ashiok. Dang it. That was my plan. I had a master plan. I'm going to keep milling them out. Let us see if your talent. Mm. I know I Yeah, they only had 26 anyone. cards left. Gross. Vision will fight you. Yeah, I guess I guess maybe I should have just kept the second the second Ashiok with having the first one. I was too focused on their Tamios, but I wish I would have kept that second Ashiok about now. However, I bet the second Ashiok would have been duress instead of the Ugin, though. The past is never forgotten. Looks like we're dead. Because Command the Dread Horde is going to get these stuff back. It's going to get Ugin back. Not so fast. Sacrifices must be made. Yeah. Command the Dread Horde kills me. Vraska. All right, let's try this. Is Jay supposed to generate food for Bolas? Oh, yeah, so no, Jace, we need Jace for the Jace's minus five ability. Uh, so we, so Bolas can you have Jace's minus five ability with Oath of Teferi. Did I not bring in Duress? I should probably have Duress in this matchup. Earlier, when I was talking about other Vraska earlier, we were talking about we were talking about six mana Vraska, not four mana Vraska, because we were talking about like the best, the best uh, walkers in standard, like just the very best. And I was saying that the other six mana walkers are better than six mana Vraska. This is. Not been the best draws here. Two more rituals. You don't really need three rituals right now. So 
seen men with thoughtfulness before action. Oh yeah, I love the Immortal Sun and Arcbow deck, yep. Oh, come on. I guess I can cast Here this during their turn to draw a card during their turn. I can't discovery and draw a card during my turn though, because of Narset. Meditate and prepare. <clears throat> I really wish we had a red source and could play Bolas, honestly. I know this is really greedy. I'm looking for a red source. Trust me, you'll thank me later. I'll protect you. I have a few openings for your minions. I won't forget Suffer it, for your cause. All right, we got there. Trust me, I have a plan. You think I should have cast the Razor? Oh, I could have cast it last turn? I only pick targets that interest You're right, I could have cast the Thought Razor last turn. I wasn't even thinking about that. Pity we couldn't have been allies. <laughs> yeah, no, that, that definitely would have been better for me to cast that Thought Razor last turn. Might be a bad Certainly. Idea. I have so many cards. I have other plans. Let your weak minds crumble. Yeah, because we could have, have better protected this Nickel Bolas if I would have thought Razor before. Smarted you eons ago. We did pretty good with Abzan Angels the other day. I'll probably play that deck again tomorrow. I liked it. Uh, maybe even add in some Arc Bows with that deck. Like Arcbow, Angels, Explore Package, Command the Dread Horde. It was pretty sweet. Here goes nothing. If I blink Bolus, we don't get to activate Bolus again. Because blinking it, it leaves until end step and comes back at end step. So we wouldn't get to we wouldn't get to draw another card and tick up again, like the second time. And us drawing that card the second time found that land, so we got the land drop there. Right on schedule. Alright, so now they can bounce out the Teferi. Hone your prowess. I 
Oh yeah, Elder Spell. Elder Spell off the top. Come on, deck. We got three Elder Spells in here. That's a good call. I like that one. I like that. J. Rockefeller. I like where your head's at. Elder Spell. Elder Spell. Hmm. Not quite. I don't get to draw multiple cards in a turn. But I think I still play this. Over to Fairy. Just make them exile two things. <clears throat> if I if I minus three now and kill Narset. My intellect is without limit. Yeah, I guess I do that. I can Tamio get it back, but they don't get to minus their Narset again. No, using Oath to reset loyalty is not really that valuable because you don't get the uh, other activation. And at, at that point, it's it's really not that valuable. There. I think it's better on like the Planeswalkers that minus a bunch. Yeah, Narset is really frustrating. Yeah, you can have any of these. We're really relying on this Nickel Bolas. Like right now, they don't have an answer for it unless they just top decked one. No, Nickel Bolts does not get the other passive abilities, no. I have learned much from my ancestors. So I could use Tamio's tick up to look for Elder Spell. No, I don't have any spark doubles. Huh. 
Making them exile no stuff is just so. I cannot exploit. There we go. My schemes are never ending. It's too tempting. Uh, I didn't get anything good. <clears throat> Just a jade light. Just an elder spell. I didn't really get anything good. Man, I should have a Kaya in here. We have the three mana Kaya, we just like ultimate it, they're they're dead. Maybe we just play Esper like without Nicol Bolas, and you could have like Kayas and Ashioks. Like Ashioks are probably pretty good these days with all these control decks. What if you just played like four Ashioks in your main deck? Nah, maybe your sideboard. Let's slow this <sighs> once again. Defiance has consequence. All right. I forgot I had that bolus in my graveyard. Where did that bolus come from? Did I surveil that over? I did surveil that over, didn't I? Behold, no, I need all those cards. Yeah, Ashiok says opponent's graveyard. I can't exile my own graveyard. I've got time. All right, we need to find Elder Spell. I think you will find my notes helpful. Man, the Dreadhorde is just a messed up card. That's just a messed up card. I guess I should have Command the Dreadhordes in my sideboard here for this matchup. I guess that's the thing I should have in my sideboard is Command the Dreadhordes. Yeah, whatever you exile here comes back and, and play untapped. Oh, I've done the hero thing before. So we need to draw. We can still win this next turn if we get really lucky. <clears throat> Witness a we can win here, though. Alright, that's fine. None of those less win. So if we if we draw Nicol Bolas that then draws Jace, we can win. Like the phases of the moon, like wax and wane to the library. Oh, but they can cast that instant speed, but they don't have two black. They don't have two black. So we need to draw Nicol Bolas here that draws Jace. We have like two of each left. Sacrifices must be made. Yeah, we have two of each. From time to time. 28 cards. So we need to hit a 2 out of 28 into a 2 out of 28. Or 2 out of 27 or whatever. No, not the Jace first. <sighs> not the Jace first. We need the Nickel Bulls first, then the Jace. Oh yeah, or or Bolas that that draws Elder Spell. Yeah, that would would have been a win also.
All right, so one thing I did in sideboard very well with this is... I all right, I just... The ultimate bolus. So I didn't... I didn't really realize it till afterwards, but I didn't bring in my duresses there also. Like, obviously, that matchup, I need all of my duresses in my deck. I should have those instead of... I, I should keep all of the Ritual of Soots. I like all the Ritual of Soots. Um, but I... I shouldn't have had Tyrant Scorns and Cast Downs, I don't think. I think I just have the Ritual of Sits to kill things, take out Tyrant Scorn, Cast Down, and put in all the Duresses. But I think I uh, did that a little... Or, like, I realized that afterwards, and somebody said, I was like, oh, yeah, I didn't bring in Duress. I don't feel that bad about that matchup, though. Yeah, Sits are good, but, yeah, just not, not four in my hand the first three turns or whatever we had like that, yeah. Yeah, I don't feel that bad about that matchup. I think we got a little bit unlucky there, drawing like all those sets that were dead cards right away in the game, and then like drawing both of our Oath of Teferi's kind of stuff. I don't feel so bad about that matchup, though. We have a lot of Elder Spells. You know, we have three in there. I think that was the one sideboarding thing I could have changed. I mean, that's that's all we need to do, and then then if like, if, like a couple of those... Like, I think I had some of those removal spells earlier. If they were duresses, that would have helped out. But yeah, that was pretty fun. This deck was a lot of fun to play, though. Nothing wrong with a 3 2. Uh, you know, losing to Mono Red, that's going to happen. And yeah, we, we played against a lot of Planeswalker decks. We were like 3 1 against other Planeswalker decks. You know, we got a little unlucky in our loss there. But we, we, um,. We got to do the, the infinite bolus and kill our opponent once. That was awesome. We got to do that. We got to pull that sweet party trick off. So that was cool. Yeah, just GG's. All right, so that's infinite bolus. If you're watching on YouTube, don't forget to hit that like button and the subscribe to the channel as well. Uh, but thanks, thanks so much for watching.